How's that? Yeah. All right, good stuff. Uh, man, uh, anybody feel inspired right now? Uh, how many of you want to live your life in a way that inspires others? Anybody want to do that? Yeah, that that's, where, that's where it really gets fun. But, you know, in order to do that, you've got to keep inspired yourself. There's been so many people in this room that have inspired Lex and I in building our business. And uh, we want to thank you, you know, uh, you know Kelly Norda, Ralph Bastidas, I mean, Jim Leary, I mean, all you guys who were here when we got started and we saw your teams up on stage and we came to an event like this, uh, motivated us, inspired us to be better. And my great team, I don't know why, um, I mean, I don't know why we've been so blessed to have such great leaders on our team, but we really have. And uh, Jim, I'm proud of you, great job here. And, um, you know, we, we did recruit a lot of people and we did work very hard, but, uh, you know, Without the Lord's help, we wouldn't have a team we have today and the relationship we have today. And I'm just, uh, we just feel so blessed. And uh, next person coming up is Mark Nichols. And Mark, I'm so proud of you, buddy. Um, you know, um, it's one thing to rise to the top, but then sometimes, you know, life gets tough, beats us down, but then to climb back up again, you know, uh, that's a true champion. And I'm seeing what uh, Mark and his, and his team is doing right now, and I'm just so proud of them for, uh, you know, what they're doing and uh, overcoming. He's one of the best fundamentals of the business. But anybody who knows Mark Nichols, I mean, I've had the privilege to know a lot of people he's worked with through law enforcement throughout the years. And uh, every time anybody who knows Mark Nichols just thinks the world of him. And uh, there's a reason for that. He just has great character, very level-headed. Uh, you know, he, he's never, like, too high or too low. He's just kind of... Even kill, you know? He's just awesome that way. So, Mark, come on up, buddy. Proud of you. <laughs> Conference calls, all the op meetings, all the big events, all the CDs. 
You never know what's going to be said until you're there and it impacts your life. In fact, last night we went to dinner and this was, I've been to the dozens and dozens of events, but I think Ian was talked about more last night over the over Applebee's table than any other. And, 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 did you guys agree? And was that not incredible last night? I feel, I feel sorry for those who were not there last night. Because he is a real person, and where he went, I'm excited here in his training today. So make sure that, now you guys are all here, but never miss anything. I promise you, crap's going to come up, life's going to come up, and you, something's going to come up, and you're not going to want to go to some event. Do not miss it. You'll kill your, your, kill your business. Number two is that have 100% positive attitude inside and outside of Primerica. You, you, hear, you heard the, the video talk about get rid of negative people. You've got to be the most positive, energetic, happy person ever. It, does anybody not have crap going on in their life or drama or whatever? Okay, you think the winners don't have crap and drama going on? But guess what? They drive past it. They move forward. And they're the most positive person on their team. Number three is four qualified uh, kitchen table appointments a week. That's minimum. That's just bare minimum. And this is what Jen and I did to go from zero, nothing, no about nothing about uh, finances, to, and Brandon told us this would happen. Our second year making over $100,000, we, we, we made one sixty four, dollars and it wasn't that we were that great. It was simply we followed a system, and we were coachable, and we were naive enough to get over our own ego. See, the only reason a lot of you are winning is because your egos. That three-letter word is killing you, okay? Get over your ego and actually follow the system, humble yourself, be a happy person, be a hungry person, and it works. The second thing is vision. You can do all those three th all those things. In fact, all those leaders know people who are great at this stuff, but they never build the business because they don't know how to cast a vision. The, the, the vision that they cast is for themselves and it's not big enough for their team. So if all I want to do is make 100 grand a year, there's no, no, no room for my team. For anybody to make 100 grand a year, there's no leader in primary who makes 100 grand who has 100 grand earner, right? So we've got to be thinking bigger. You must fly into someone else's vision until you can gain your own vision. Coming in as a brand new person, you don't have your vision, you don't even know what this thing is. You've got to have faith and belief in your, in, in, and you grab hold of your leader's vision, but within 30 days, you should capture your own vision. If you don't have your own vision and, and you've been in business for 30 days, then you need to work on your vision. You need to make sure that you develop your own vision and what do you want here? Clearly identify your why. What do you want to have? What do you want out of this primary what do you want here? Why, why are you here for a social aspect? Fantastic, we love you, but get up, get out of our, our freaking way because we are on the move because we are after our, and there's nothing that's stopping us. Everybody should download that video, whatever it's called, and you should watch it every morning. Write it down morning and noon and night. We are crazy about writing down our goals, morning and night. If you do not write them down, now that's great to have them on your mirror and look at them, but write them down. Bill Will talks about thinking me. Write them down, morning, and every time I, I reach in my pocket for a minute, it's there. I just remind myself. Write it down and hold each other accountable. My, my team is holding me accountable. And you know what? If you don't have your goals with you constantly, all the time, and your, 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 your leader saying, hey, do you have your goals with you? And if it's always, no, I forgot, guess what? You're not serious yet. You do All successful people do is do what other successful people do. Right? Why do you think we have people up here training? is to teach you. Now, hopefully, some of you knuckleheads that are too, too, uh, too boneheaded, right? I can be direct. My, my team knows that I'm direct. If you do not follow the teaching that is done today and the training, you, you're, you're here for a social aspect. You're here to get a t-shirt and a cloth. That's fantastic. But we are, we are here to build something and do something incredible. Talk about it with confidence. My team knows, we, everybody knows what each other's vision is. But you need to talk about it with confidence. Not, not, not the little weak person that, that doesn't really know what I want, and they hesitate when you when, when I ask Brandon, what do you want? What is it that you want out of primary? He's going to be able to know with confidence exactly what I want. If I ask the next person, they have to think about it. No, that's not good. You need to figure that crap out real quick. Um, no matter how good you are in the fundamentals, the Proverbs talks about if you have no vision, you're not going to be around very long, right? So here's what happens, it, during those two keys, I promise you, if you just do those two keys, what will happen your first month, even if you're zero, if your whole team is here right now, which is you, raise your hand, raise your hand if you have nobody on your team, okay? You gotta get some stuff going, right? You gotta change, 
the vehicle is here for you to change. First month, this month, you do three recruits. Second month, you do nine recruits. Third month, you do 15 recruits. Fourth month, you're doing 30 recruits. That's just how it happens. You want to do 20 recruits a month? You've got to get those things in order yourself. You've got to have your mind right, and you've got to have your activity right. With four others doing the 8531, right? The, the, the 8 KTs, 5 FNAs, 3 lifestyle, 3 recruits. You're doing 20 KTs in a week as a team. So this is what's going to happen by you doing those two key points. Now it's not going to happen this first month, right? You're not going to be doing 80 appointments a week the first month. But within three or four months, that's exactly what should happen to be, be happening. Um, and one month, you're going to do 80 appointments because you're each doing 20. 80, 50, 30, and 10. You'll be a strong regional vice president helping 30 plus fam fun, uh, 30 families a month. And as a byproduct of helping those 30 families a month, is you're going to make $20,000 a month. That's just what happens when you go get your mindset right, your activity right. You will build a double, you will build double digit recruiting teams, and that's where private that's where the base shop really starts to compete is building double digit recruiting teams. So thanks.